hello guys good day and welcome to another brand new tutorial on this channel so on this week uh, tutorial this is what we'll be doing we'll be making this particular bag so we'll be talking about the illustration the material we'll talk about we we'll also called make the pattern and finally we'll be assembling the bag i'll show you all the process of making this particular bag so if you really want to know how we make this stay tuned to watch the video to the end and if you are new to the channel consider subscribing when you subscribe turn on the post notification bell so that you get notified for a new video share this with people share this video with people you think it might be of help to them in their journey of bag making give this video a giant thumbs up if you do enjoy it after you finish watching it and make sure to leave comment in the comment section down below on what you think on this project and another project we can do or tutorial on this channel so without no further ado let's proceed to the making of this beautiful elegant bag and i'll see you as we proceed to the making of it so guys uh, this is the illustration of the bag and the design as you can see the height of the bag is seven and a half the side here is seven or let me say six you are just going to add most of this to it when you are cutting then the uh, length of the bag is 11 and a half here is the cover the cover from the back you know it will be seven and a half plus this eight and a half making 16 that's the reason why you see that 16 there but the way it is like if you screenshot it you may understand this more better don't mind the date you are seeing here we do film down before the upload date you know you can't just make a video today and you upload tomorrow it will be very very difficult for you to keep to time so this is the bottom if you want to cut the bottom <coughs> so by the way the way this bag is if you want to make this particular bag you only cut a pattern for the front and the cover back the back and the cover you cut it in one piece and the front making two pieces that's what you are going to cut on your carry board so the rest of these are just going to be a material you want to use and cover it with lining both the side and the under as it is like this you know we have a divider here you are going to cut one side another one side you are going to cut four side four side instead of just two that will be left and right so this part is going to be two the other part is going to be same thing applicable to the under the under is going to be two so we have a zip at the center that will make that will divide this side so as we proceed you see what i'm talking about and the process so guys this is how it's looking like this is the front panel as you can see i have cut the pattern out and the uh the back panel and the cover as we have cut the pattern out because this is cut together just like uh this particular one here it's something like this before we cover it so as you can see this is the front and the cover so this is where the front stop the back stop i mean from here to here then from here to here is the cover so this is the front this is what all this to look like before i cover it with the material so after you do this you apply gum to the first face of the material and the mark and the carry board as well so you cover it when you cover it you come to the side to the back side you turn it and you cut out the excess you also apply gum and keep it down this way just like as neat as this you make sure this side are neat as well mm -hmm. so when you turn it you see a very neat work as you can see this is these are all neat work so and this is a burgundy leather so um after you've covered this you keep this aside we do the same thing to this particular one and when you are doing this before you cover it with your line you remember uh, any lock you are using you make sure you have uh, you attach your lock to it first so that's the reason why you see that i attach this lock to it and don't forget to always put your washer at the back of your lock so that this will stay as long as the bag lasts for the lifetime of the bag so you make sure to pull your washer so right now i've also applied gum to this bag as you can see and i have my lining so the next thing is i will be covering this up once i cover it up i will cover this part up again and i will come back to show you guys so right about now i'll be showing you the bottom and the center uh the bottom i mean and the side of the bag so stay tuned to watch that so guys here we have the bottom you know at the bottom i say you are going to cut um 11 by 5 so this is 11 and this is 5. the reason why you are cutting this is you add to it when you fold it it's going to reduce because this is half inch this is half inch it's going to reduce back to 10 
so and this place is also five once you sew it when you fold this place it's going to reduce back to four so and that's that i've also covered this with the lining as you can see so this side why i'm not covering here because when you want to sew this is going to be fold this way so you don't need your lining there the same thing applicable to this side so you bring out the side where you want uh where you want the bottom to look like if you remember the diagram or if you screenshot the diagram you see what i'm talking about so the top as well when you cut the top you are going to fold the half inch out of it from this side as well you fold a little bit so that's the reason why you see all this and from here you can see the measurement i show you earlier if you have screenshot it just like this here are the measurement this is two centimeter from here before you fold you measure this out you measure two centimeter as well this top here from here to here is three centimeter and here are six centimeter so that's what you measure when you measure it you apply a gum to it you fold it just like i did this center you are not going to fold it you fold the top as well you apply your lining to it and after you done these two you are good to go so after you done that you have to sew them together when you sew it it's going to look like something like this you know we fold the bottom so that we have a neat and good looking edge and this is the side as well where we did not put apply gum to fold when you want to sew it you fold it inward and you sew it from outside so your bag will be neat this is how the inside will look like so once you start sewing this it's going to give you a nice good look and we i think if you need more questions on this you can feel free to leave it in the comment section below and if you watch on channel we've done a bag that is similar to this but not big not up to this and not uh, of two so you know i say on each bag you are going to make two so this is the boat we are going to be putting a zip at the center or a divider then we proceed with the rest of the bag so once i put the line at the front panel and the cover back I'm going to show you and start sewing this as well you see the process so if you are new to the channel consider subscribing when you subscribe turn on the post notification bell so that you get notified when we upload a new video uh give this video a giant thumbs up if you do enjoy it if you have any question feel free to leave it in the comment section down below share this with people you know it might be of help to them and we shall proceed with the rest of the video stay tuned to watch it so guys uh welcome back this is what we have so far as you can see the front i've also uh punch out the o and insert and install the eyelids i mean pardon me that and this is the front lid as well and the um lock so i've also put all the lining and i think i showed you earlier lining for this these are all the two center as well so the one that is left now is the divider with the zip so i'll be doing that i also have put this particular one this side and the lining with the inside pockets so we'll proceed with the rest of the background you normally know how we do this to it but for those of you who are new to here we'll still show you the process of attaching that side to this particular place but first what we are going to do is you make sure you sew this round and back down to where it started here just the same place where you start here you stop at this place then the front one as well this is the this is the top and this is the bottom you make sure you stitch the front this way the same thing applicable to all of this side i've not done that you make sure you stitch all where we fold them so that that will avoid uh making the bag come off even after you have been using it for like four or five years when you stitch it down even if as they come a week you will still be able to carry your bag and that will protect uh the work you do so that your clients will know that uh, even they use the bag for a very long lifetime uh, lifespan of the bag but at least the bag are still able to withstand the weather and the duration so uh, right now don't let me prolong this i will start doing the rest of the work and i will show you how it will be looking if you are new to the channel so consider subscribing when you subscribe turn on the post notification bell so that you get notified when we upload a new video for those of you who are new to the channel uh you should consider subscribing share this with people you know it might be of help to them and um 
give this video a giant thumbs up if you do enjoy it if you have any question feel free to leave it in the comment section down below as i will do my best to answer any question related to this particular bag we are making right now share this video with people you know it's going to help and we are going to see you at the other side to see the rest of the so guys uh this is the inside pocket this is how it's going to look like as you can see so uh you just take a measurement of the inside of the bag and you know how it's, it's going to be but from here to here is seven why here to here i think is uh 11 point 11 and quarter not 11 and a half because we this will not be the edge will not be showing at the end of the side so right now i'll be fixing my side to it and the bottom then i will be fixing the rest of it to the main bag so stay tuned and see how it turns out to look so guys um this is the next process of it you know you will be joining the side to the pocket that will be inside which contain the zip so we've actually i've actually cut out the zip and make this and i don't know if i get to show you this but the way i do this i apply when i cut it i share it to two, two, then measure the zip the wideness of the zip and i get what i really want to then i put a gum you apply a gum to the bottom apply a gum to also the zip clothes then you gum it down so that you will be able to sew it because even this material is a stretchy material that's the reason why you see all this side are here like this so after that you sew the side here so that you enclose it but if you are not sewing you can use your gum to hold it down so the next step is you apply your gum to the side which you have sewn before already which i showed you earlier <coughs> to the uh, side and bottom then you apply gum to it round and you gum this down you make sure you you leave a space here so that this side that is coming down will be sewn to it so i will show you right away how the process will be so after you do this the second side you know is of two sides the second side you now place it on it and start sewing so so to the other side so right now stay tuned let me show you the sewing so here is it guys here is the sewing as you can see this is one part this is another part so i just place it on it and i sew it and uh, as you can see if you check this place very well this is the side which i apply gum to as you can see that's the gum there that is trying to like open so this is the side i apply gum to so uh, the way i show you earlier you place it down you put this on it then you stitch and you sew around so i'm going to point this after i finish but note one thing you should do uh this particular side you should stitch it just the way i stitch it like uh a inch here so that it will hold down the zip from the inside as well this clothes from the inside because uh there's tendency that when you sew when i'm sewing this place or when you are sewing this place it's not everything you sew down but this is going to hold it in place and down the same thing applicable to the other side as well so uh right now the next thing i'll be doing is i'll be sewing this to the front of the bag when i sew it to the front of the bag i'll show you before attaching it to the bag and we are done with our bag so i'll show you that process night now once i'm done with it i will show you guys so stay tuned to check it so guys uh this is what it look like when you attach the the gusset to the front of the bag as you can see one side is now giving out the shape we want from the side down to the other side so that's just it so this side now will be attaching this so this is just it. this part now will be attaching it to the back and the cover so once we finish it will look straight like this then the cover will come this way so right about now in just a few seconds i'll be showing you that as well so guys um this is what i'm talking about you see the way it's looking so once you cover this this way it will give you the shape of what we are looking for as you can see it's the side and the back so when you open it it will look something like this this will be inside it will be having two parts which is this part and this particular part then the small pocket at the back then this zip pouch inside and when you cover it so uh, let me just try to fix this now and show you before fixing the zip so after fixing the front this is how it's looking like i hope you guys love the bag the way it is this way 
Hmm? I hope you guys love it. So, as you can see, these are the side mm -hmm. and the back mm -hmm. and the other side mm -hmm. as well. So, what I will be doing right now is to insert the chain. Once I insert the chain, you will see the outcome. But this is the uh, total bag and this is how it looks like. So, this one is actually different. It's the one with the burgundy leather inside so as the divider. So, this is the bag and it's very very easy to lock you know it is very very easy to lock as you can see these are the bottom and the face of the bag so if you are new to the channel consider subscribing so that uh, you get notified consider subscribing and when you subscribe turn on the bell, notification bell so that you get notified when we upload a new and good interesting tutorial just like this one or even the one that is much much better than this uh share this with people you know it might be of help to them give this video a giant thumbs up if you do enjoy it and we shall proceed to inserting the chain and i will show you the outcome of everything how the bag is going to look with the chain as well so stay tuned to see that. Thank you guys for watching and I will see you at the other side. So welcome back guys. Um, here is the finished product of the bag. Here we have our bag here. As you can see, I fixed the chain to it. And this is how the bag look like. These are the side, the bottom and the front. So when you open this, can open this and you see the inside of our bag right so this is how our bag look like so this is how it looks like and the chain and the measurement of the chain is 52 so you can make something of this nature for yourself uh, thank you guys for watching if you are new to the channel please consider subscribing when you subscribe turn on the post notification bell so that you get notified when we upload a new video like this leave in the comment section down below what you think on this video if you really enjoy it or if you have any question concerning the video or related to anything bad making feel free to leave it in the comment section down below as i will try my best to answer those questions um, I've said you should subscribe. When you subscribe, turn on the post notification bell so that you get notified when we upload a new interesting video. Thank you guys for watching. And I think this is where we'll be ending this week uh, tutorial. And we shall see you in the next one. Bye.